Prince Charles praises Harry for climate change campaigning after an interview. Prince Charles offered an olive branch to Prince Harry last night, praising his son's passionate work to highlight and tackle climate change. The heir to the throne said he was proud that both his sons had recognized the threat facing the planet, and commended their commitment to green causes. Charles made his comments in an essay about climate change for US magazine. He wrote, as a father, I am proud that my sons have recognized this threat. Most recently, my eldest son, William, launched a prestigious Earthship Prize to incentivize change and help repair our planet over the next 10 years. On Harry, he added, my youngest son, Harry, has passionately highlighted the impact of climate change, especially in relation to Africa, and committed his charity to being net zero. The heir to the throne is also yet to meet his seven-month-old granddaughter Lilibet, it is believed. Harry also told a podcast in the US last year that he left Britain with wife Meghan to break the cycle of genetic pain and suffering for the sake of his own children. Of his relationship with his father he said, he treated me the way he was treated. Sources said Harry and Charles had barely spoken since the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral last April and did not meet when Harry was in London for the unveiling of a statue of Princess Diana during the summer. Last month Harry also claimed he had raised concerns about Mahfouz Meri Mubarak bin Mahfouz, the Saudi tycoon at the center of a probe in two donations to his father's charity. He made the comments after it was revealed that he had held a private meeting with Mr. Mahfouz, who has given tens of thousands of pounds to charities associated with the Duke. One source who worked for the royal family when William and Harry were children told, William and Diana had a particularly close connection. Harry was very young for his age. Charles was largely absent and undemonstrative but unmistakably affectionate. The newspaper reported that the Prince of Wales in fact had a more challenging relationship with William than Harry until recent years. Charles played peacemaker between the brothers amid tension between them around the time of Harry and Meghan's wedding in 2018. However, a source also told The Telegraph that Charles would be sad rather than angry at the breakdown in his relationship with Harry. A former aide said, the prince absolutely adores Harry. He will feel absolutely devastated by this distraught. Harry is said to have become concerned about Mr. Marfus in 2014 and wound down their relationship the following year, having met him twice. But in an extraordinary statement which could spark a family rift. Harry said he had no involvement in what he described as the CBE scandal. Insisted he had concerns about the Saudi businessman's motives and claimed he expressed his concerns about him. The Duke of Sussex said that when he cut ties with Mr. Marfus in 2015, he expressed his concerns about the donor. But his statement did not make clear to whom he voiced these qualms. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex who live in a $14 million mansion in Montecito, California, quit the royal family in January 2020. In December, questions were raised about the couple's £18 million Spotify deal. After giving the streaming giant just 35 minutes of content so far, the pair also have a Netflix deal which industry insiders say could be worth as much as $100 million. While Prince Harry has a reported $1.7 billion position at Silicon Valley startup BetterUp and a four-book deal said to be worth at least £18 million. Prince Harry took on his first job in the corporate world by revealing he had taken an executive position at the Silicon Valley startup as a chief impact officer. Then, in July sources told the Mail the Duke of Sussex secured a four-book deal said to be worth as much as £29 million. In October Meghan wrote a letter to U.S. Congressman Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer asking for paid parental leave, which said, I'm not an elected official, and I'm not a politician. I'm writing to you at this deeply important time as a mum, to advocate for paid leave. Also in December, the couple finally shared the first photo of their daughter Lilibet Diana, six months after she was born, for their Christmas card. The family image showed Meghan holding up their giggling daughter. While smiling Harry looked on with his arm around their two-year-old son Arch. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.